the Deering Estate just off Cutler Bay, a majestic piece of property that is home to Victorian splendor, some of South Florida's iconic wildlife, and some say something else. Welcome to the Deering Estate, the most haunted place in South Florida. A recent paranormal investigation of the 400 acre piece of land developed by businessman and philanthropist Charles Deering back in the early 1900s has yielded some interesting results and startling images. The craziest thing, absolutely by far, the best thing that I think is really awesome is catching three photographs with apparitions on them. That just doesn't happen. Ghostly images captured on video and film, some believe to be that of Charles Deering himself, both inside his private study and outside on the second floor. A video uh, from an infrared camera that was set up in the corner over there, and it shows an orb of light moving from inside this window across the room. It lights up the entire room and then it disappears out this window. A lot of the Deering Estate staff, uh, in particular the security staff that are here late at night, have seen a vision of um, an, a man being pushed in a wheelchair across this veranda which connects to the Richmond Cottage. That cottage next door said to be a hotbed of paranormal activity, even more so than the home Deering and his wife lived in. Downstairs in the dining room, a little boy is believed to frequently visit, in some cases, moving furniture around. Now, in the middle of our investigation, we found in photographs and in video that this chair went missing. We couldn't find it in any other photograph. That chair was later found in another room, but it was a trip to the second floor where I, as a skeptic, got caught off guard. Now, as I was shooting video of that bathroom on the second floor where the supposed spirit of a 13-year-old girl wanders, the camera did something really funky, and that is that it zoomed in like almost in an ultra zoom fashion and picked up the toilet full screen, and I don't even know how to do that on my camera, and I certainly didn't push any buttons, so right now I am a little nervous about being in this room. The camera also stopped recording and did not pick up the macro zoom. But in this video taken in the same hallway months earlier, you can see a white orb moving across the floor directly toward where I stood. But the hauntings don't stop there. Outside near the boat basin behind the Deering home, this image of what is said to be a woman was captured hovering over the water. And a couple hundred feet away, another ghostly image. And the other image of a full body apparition that we caught was standing right here of a man dressed in what we describe to be as maybe a, a Indian or Incan kind of garb. The mysterious happenings at the Deering Estate continue to baffle even seasoned paranormal experts. One thing that can be said is that the spirits believed to haunt these grounds are not violent and that they will most likely continue to make for interesting characters in the ghost tours that will now be conducted for locals interested in the paranormal. The ghost tours here at the Deering Estate will begin this week, once this Thursday, then again next Thursday, and beginning in January of 2010, the ghost tours will run once a month. And for real ghost enthusiasts, you'll be able to rent one of these two houses out for a night for $2,000 and conduct your investigation on your own. And who knows, you may have some paranormal activity happen to you, just like it did to me. Reporting near Cutler Bay, I'm Alex Cicada for SouthFlorida.com.